Adam Repos Vox here back with another video. We've got another collab today talking about which keyboards we use. Today's collab features Dookie, we've got Ski with Pete, and we've got Connor from Tech Intake. So we're going to start with Connor and get right into it. Hey guys, Connor from Tech Intake here. Today I want to go over what keyboard I am currently using in my setup. This is the HHKB, which I have modified for my own purposes to my own liking. I've replaced the standard controller with a custom Bluetooth controller. I've replaced the escape and delete key with a couple artisans, they're orange artisans. Uh, the one on the escape key is the Cosmonaut, it's the X15 colorway, this is by Key Collective. And on the delete key I have a Fire Guppy Fugu from Eat the Food. I also have replaced the modifiers with an orange uh, matching key set to match those artisans. I think it gives it a nice bit of flair and it still has all of the fantastic functionality you would have from an HHKB obviously, as well as wireless functionality and a little bit more color and personality to it. I did a full overview on this on my channel, so if you want to take a closer look, come check it out. What's good folks, it's Dookie, and I gotta be honest man, as an IT professional and a video editor, I've been using a pretty much a standard desktop keyboard that comes with any PC. But I recently got two new additions that have changed my mind. First is my Editor's Keys Backlit Adobe Premiere Pro keyboard. It's amazing, it really has stepped up my workflow. But my brand new baby is my introduction in the mechanical keyboards. That's right, the Gasky 108 key fully RGB keyboard with blue switches. It's a monster, it's a beast. The jump to mechanical really is a whole different feel. I've heard a lot about it, but once you really start using one on a consistent basis, it's a totally different feel. Plus, it stays lit. It's got a whole bunch of different RGB LED configurations. My favorite one has got to be this one right here. Shout out to Adam and everybody else for letting me elbow my way in here and giving you my thoughts and opinions. It's real tech for real folks. Hi guys, Ski with Pete here, and my favorite keyboard is the is the IBM Model M. No, it's the Dell AT101 with Salmon Alps. No, it's the Cooler Master XT with Cherry MX Reds. No, it's the Kinesis Advantage 2, which is unreleased, and I'm just about to release a review of it. I'm only kidding, it's the Philco. It's the Philco Magic Touch 2 with Cherry MX Blacks, and I've got the Triumph Adler key set on there. The Mechanical Keyboards Disco. This is my custom build Gone with stainless steel plates. Oh. And the Toxic Key Set. It's got Zelios in there. And this is my, this is actually my wife's keyboard. This is, this is a Cooler Master QFR MX Blues with Artisans. I'm only kidding, guys. I don't, I don't like big keyboards like this. I, I prefer smaller ones. It's like the Leopold FC660C, the HHKB with a custom controller from Hasu, the Poker 3 RGB, the KC60 with 67 gram Cherry MX Clears, or the Terminus Mini that's still not finished, 40% with Cherry MX Grays. This is my plank that I use for creating these videos. You can see all the different settings I have for the different cameras that I use. And this is my original JD40 from Control-Alt. This one's made by Margo Mods. This is my JD40 from 1UP Keyboards with Gateron Clears. I made this in a recent live stream. This is probably my favorite keyboard. This is the LJD61 Up from 1UP Keyboards. This is the prototype. You can see it's got seven screws in it. The final release version actually has 10. This is made with Gateron Blues and features the DSA Eve set, which I think is probably the most beautiful key set there is.
My favorite keyboard is my faithful WASD W A S D code keyboard with Cherry MX blue switches. The blue switches are amazing to type on. I can type really, really fast without putting any strain on my finger joints. The mechanical, they, they're super loud and obnoxious though. They annoy the crap out of my fiance. I've got a few custom keycaps going here. Uh, just some basic stuff. Nothing, no artisan ones or anything like that. Haven't looked into that yet. But I also run a second keyboard. That being the Genovation CP48, 48 key programmable keypad that also has mechanical switches. Now they're not quite as loud as the Cherry MX Blues. I use the WASC code keyboard for my day to day work non stop. It serves me fantastically for gaming, for writing, for editing. It is great. It is 10 keyless, so it fits on my desk despite me not having a whole lot of space, especially with all the stuff that I have going on on it. And then I have room for the second keypad with that extra space. It's pretty cool. I love it and it serves me quite well. Thank you so much for Dookie, Ski with Pete, and Connor from Tech Intake for taking part in this collab video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos, leave us a comment down below with what your favorite keyboard is and why. Give us something else to check out. I own a ton of keyboards, maybe not as much as Ski with Pete, but I own a lot, but I'm always interested in trying new ones. So let us know in the comment section down below. Go check out their channels and I'll see you next time.